Ever since Apple released iBooks for the iPhone, a lot of users were excited, not because they can now read a book on their iPhone, but because iBooks is also a PDF document reader. And we can, for the first time, easily take our PDF documents with us. But it's not really intuitive on how to do that. So in this video, I want to show you exactly how to get those PDF documents from your computer to your iPhone. Now the first thing you'll need to do is open up iTunes. And once you open up iTunes, you, you'll notice, for those of you who are new to iTunes, on the left side you have a pane, and on the right side you have this big window. Now what shows up in this big window on the right is determined by whatever you have selected over here on the left. So you can see I have the iTunes store selected here, and this is what I see in the right side pan. If I go up here to the top and under library, click on my music folder, I am now seeing the contents of my music folder here. Now what we need to do first is under library, go down to the books and click on your books folder. And you can see in here, I've already uh, put some PDF documents in here. But, it's, but how did I get them in here? You look around here and there's no, there's no import or add files or anything in here. And I don't know if Apple could have made this any more confusing or not. But let me show you. It's really easy. And this is how you got to get your PDFs in here. Now, if you're on a Mac like I am, just open up your Finder. If you're on a Windows PC, just go to your Windows Explorer. And just when that window opens, just be sure that you can see your iTunes window in the background and you'll be good to go. Now what I want to do here is just navigate to another PDF that I want to put on my iPhone. And it's this one right here. Let me drag this down so you can see better. And I just want this second one right here. And to get it in here, just click and drag and drop it. And you can see there's a blue outline around this window now let me go back and forth and you can see that blue highlight and you can just drag, drag and drop it anywhere and once I do that you can see here is the Lightroom 3 uh, PDF that I just drug in here and it did not move it it only copied it to this folder so you're not moving any documents it's just copying it to your uh, iTunes books folder I'm gonna close out it uh, finder now once you get the book in here, it will, it's an easy task to get it on your iPhone once you sync the next time. But I have, And I have my iPhone connected here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it. But there's one thing you need to be sure and do. Up top here, be sure to click on books and make sure you, you're syncing your books. And I currently have all books selected. If this is not checked, your books, your PDS will not sync. Now let me show you a screenshot of what it'll look like once you get your books or PDFs on, onto your iBooks on your iPhone. Now here's the iBooks app opened up and I took a screenshot of it. And currently the books is, is the tab that's selected up top here or the icon. And I only have the one Winnie the Pooh book that, ship, that it shipped with. To view your PDFs, you'll need to tap on the PDFs up here. And once you do that, you can see here are my PDFs. And to open any of these PDFs up, all you do is just tap on it. Now let me show, show you a few other things while, while we're here. Uh, up here in the top left, you'll see the edit pan. If you tap on edit, this is what your, your screen will now look like. And if you tap on any of these X's, you will close the book. And it will it'll supposedly or just delete it from your iPhone. It doesn't delete it from your computer or inside of iTunes. It just deletes it from inside here if you get to where you don't no longer need it. Now also, while you're in this screen, if you just tap on one of these documents, you can drag it around and you can reorder these PDFs any way you'd like while you're in this screen. And one final thing I would like to show you is if you tap on the top right and you go to store, that will take you to this screen. And the reason I want to show you this is once you get here, it's not immediately intuitive how you get back 
to your iBooks uh, application from here, if you hit your home button on your iPhone like I did, it just takes you back to your home screen and you'll navigate back to iBooks and tap your iBooks icon and bingo, you're right back to the screen. You're like, well, how do I get back to viewing my PDF documents? Well, to do that, tap on this library button up in the top right. And once you do that, you will then be taken back to, to this screen here or whichever one you were viewing, maybe your PDF, PDF screen. And that's all there is to it is to getting the PDFs onto your iPhone. Not very intuitive, but easy once you know how.